All right, now check this out. When I get a notification here on my Galaxy phone, this beautiful looking pill pops up here on the top indicating me that I have received the notification from this particular application. It shows the icon as well. And if you have multiple notification, you will see a couple of icons there. And when you tap on that pill, it expands that particular notification. And let's say if I'm playing music on any of the streaming applications, and when I go home, you will see this pop up again on the top, which shows that the music is being played. You can just tap on that to expand that particular pill to pause or play the music. And when you tap on that again, the application itself will open up. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now let me start a timer here. Let's go to clock. I'll start the stopwatch here and I'll go back. You can see the timer is also right here on the top of the screen. And I can tap on this to expand the spill to see this timer. We can pause this or we can also tap on that to open the application. Let me just pull this widget down here. Now this is clearly visible. Let me just tap on the spill again. You see, it's a beautiful looking uh, pill-shaped background here on which the clock is running and uh, we have an option to pause this or we can directly tap on this uh, to, the, to go to the uh, timer application or the clock application itself. Now, if there are two different applications running, we get that indication also inside the pill. Let me uh, play the music here. Now you can see the clock is also running here and we have got the music icon as well. I can tap on the music icon to expand the music app or I can tap on this clock pill to expand this clock application and tap on it to again uh, expand it to go to the application itself. And you can also see there's one more notification which just popped up. When I tap on that, I can see the uh, live cricket match which is going on. It says there is Sri Lanka versus New Zealand match which is going on and the match has been delayed. Now let me open Google Maps and let me start a direction here and I will go home now. You can see we have got this uh, icon right here on top. I can tap on this icon to expand the navigation here. I can tap on this to expand the app itself. Now let's say I have uh, closed this app here. Let me uh, close this floating window. Now let's see if the map is available. Yes, we do have it available here. I can tap on this. It says exit navigation or we can just directly tap on that to open the application. Now I'm doing all this on a Samsung Galaxy phone. Now I know most of us, the Android users, don't like having this kind of notch on top like the dynamic island on the iOS. But hear me out, this is quite functional and I have enabled this using a third party application. That is the beauty of Android, isn't it? If you are someone who like the dynamic island concept, then here is an application which will help us enable this dynamic island feature right on top. And when none of the applications are running in the background, this pill just disappears as you can see, it just shrinks into this camera hole, the punch hole, and it is not even visible there. Only when you get a notification like this, you will be seeing this pill. And when you have some applications running in the background, you will see this pill. You can tap on that to expand it. So it is kind of functional as well. And if you don't want it in this position, we can customize that as well. Let me just show you that. Now the app I'm talking about is called Dynamic Spot or the Dynamic Land. It's a beta version that we currently have. And it's an amazing application. You guys should give it a try. Now let me just open this app here. You see, it's a simple, uh, you know, basic uh, homepage that we have. You just have to enable the notifications here and it will prompt you to enable certain settings on your phone. You just go ahead and enable those permissions and then come back here. You will be able to customize this pill further. You've got a general here. Of course, this runs on ads. It's a free application. If you want to get rid of these ads, you can go ahead and upgrade it to premium. Uh, once this is set up, you will not see any ads. Only when you get back to the application to change some settings, then only you'll be seeing these advertisements. Now let me tap on general. On the top, you've got allow two pop-ups. Uh, you will see two different applications which are running in the background inside this pill. And uh, we have got a few other uh, premium features here, auto expand, send replies, and all those features are premium features. And we have got a few more premium features here. Now let me just go back. Now what's more interesting here is the appearance and position. Now let me tap on position here. This is where we can customize the position and the size of this pill. Let me just use the slider here. You can see I have moved this pill to the right corner. If I want it to be in the left corner, I can do that as well. So this is quite customizable. Let me just put it at the center. Now I can position it vertically as well. You can see it is moving downwards now. Depending on your camera's position, you can position this pill in the background of your camera or the punch hole uh, area. And then we have got this uh, horizontal size option. We can expand that pill. As you can see, it is expanding. 
and size vertical in case if you want to make it look big. Uh, yeah, you have to make it, you have to keep it simple so that it looks uh, nice and it doesn't uh, bother you when the pill is activated, whenever you get the notification or whenever the applications are running in the background. So I'll keep it uh, to uh, this size here. On top, you got position center option or left option. Just in case if you want to have it on the left side, you can have it here. Let me just tap on this and show you guys. You can see the message is expanding here. You don't really have to go to the notification panel uh, to uh, check the uh, recent notification. You can just tap on the pill as and when you get the notification. Now let me just go back here. Let's tap on appearance. Here we've got a few more customization options. This is definitely an amazing application which you guys should try. We all are Android phone users. We've got that flexibility to try any kind of uh, features or functions that, uh, that are available on different OEMs uh, devices. But if you're an iOS user, you would not be able to try any of these features from Android. They will just have to copy it from Android or you know come up with their own features. However, if you're an Android user, we get to try these new features which the iPhones are offering. I'm for it. I'm always welcome to try those features which we get on the iPhones while we have more robust features and functions on the Android phone. Uh, share your thoughts about this in the comment section below. And uh, if you like this video and find this video informative, go ahead and hit the like button and uh, do subscribe to the channel if you want to watch some more contents like this. Go ahead and subscribe. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.